financial freedom mindset. What's up, my people? Today, I'm talking about do not carry people. What do I mean by that? I just want to get an example. When I was in school, I had this friend. He always did his homework. He always studied. So he used to allow me to copy his paper. He was my friend, but at the same time, he was always telling me, Troy, go study, man. This, this is not that hard. So and so, so and so. Me being a teenager, uh, I was just going home and, you know, playing basketball and playing around, playing around with my friends, not doing it. Say, I just call, I just copy so and so tomorrow. So he allowed me to copy him because he was my friend. Even though he was trying to help me, he was my friend. And then one day we was taking a test. And, you know, during the test, we're not supposed to be talking. It's real quiet. And I'm asking him for answers. Like, yo, 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 yo. And he ended up getting into trouble. He ended up getting a zero, not even an F, a zero on the test. You know what happened? He got caught trying to give me answers. I still had to take the test and I failed and I felt so bad. And at the end of the day, he did nothing wrong. He studied, he did his homework, he prepared for the test and I got him in trouble and I felt bad. And all he, and he been telling me, Troy, just study, man. It's not that hard. Just look through it, man. It ain't that. And I always felt bad. And I was like, man, he got in trouble because of me. He got a zero because of me. Nothing that he did. He's trying to be a friend and help me. And I'm not being a friend and putting him at risk. And he got a zero. And, even, you know, it's so funny. Even today when I tell him the story, he don't even remember it. But then even I brought that back just to say the story. Don't sacrifice yourself to make other people happy. If you you and your family decided to get debt free, take all your money, whatever y'all decided Put on that debt. If you decide to save, save. You can't continue to help other people. When I say that, I don't mean like if it's a real emergency and people need help. I get it. Some people, you really, some people fall in a bad situation. I understand. But you can't just keep helping people because they choose to be in bad situations. We all have 24 hours a day. So it's not fair for you to sacrifice and save your money and work overtime and deal with all this stress at work and come home and try to pay your bills and get a phone call from people saying you're supposed to asking you for help while they're doing what they want to do. I was doing what I wanted to do. When I was getting off uh, out of school, I was going home playing and playing games with my friend and basketball, football, so on. This guy was going home studying, then come outside, going home, doing his homework. Then he came outside. And it wasn't fair. Now, the day of the test, he's trying to help me and he gets in trouble. I don't see I don't see this. And you probably know somebody or you probably this person that I seen people help people all the time. And the one time that person tell them, no, it's like that person, the enemy. Or oh, I seen people help people all the time. And when that same person needed help and the other person could have probably helped them out. They close their eyes. They, they just forgot about it. You sit there and say, man, I helped this person all this time. And the one time that I need it, they're going to tell me no. I don't like to take chances like that. I don't take chances like that. Whatever my goal is, I'm going to get there. Now, again, like I said, when you have it, my friend had this thing. He said he wants his cup to overflow. So then he don't even feel the effects of when he's helping people. But if you got $1,000 in your account, and you trying to give this person a hundred, this person a hundred, this person a hundred, this person a hundred. You ain't going to never get to two thousand dollars. You ain't going to never get to eleven hundred because you're always trying to help people. You got to come to the point where you're like, nah, I'm not helping nobody. When you get to a thousand, you keep going. That, per that person could do exactly what you're doing. They're choosing not to do it. And just because they're choosing not to do it, don't let that be the downfall on you. Don't put them on your back. My friend at that time, he didn't deserve, I shouldn't have to be on his back for him to give me the answers because he was studying. I could have studied too. It was no difference between me and him is what I chose to do. And I go to the same thing with you and helping people in every month because people get used to it and then like you're their pillow. So they're never going to try to push themselves because they'll, they'll always say, well, I know my friend is going to have the answer. I know my friend is going to have the money. I know my daughter, my son, my mom, my dad, my friend, my brother, my sister, my cousin. They're always going to have the money to give it to me. They're always going to give it to me. So they're never going to try to save. And you'll forever be in that bubble of keep helping people. 
You're going to have to be that point at a point. You're going to have to have them call you selfish. Sometimes you're going to have to do it. And I'm not telling you to walk around and be Scrooge McDuck and don't help nobody, but help people when they're really in need. I get it. A lot of stuff do happen. But some people choose to be in need. They want to go out and party and have fun and don't want to save no money. And when something happens, they want to ask you or ask somebody else. And I'm telling you, if you that somebody else, you don't have to help them. All my friends around me, let's say one of them call me tomorrow and say, hey, man, let me borrow. I'm using it for example. Let me borrow $50. I'm using it for example, y'all. I'm just saying it. And let's just say I told them, nah, man, I ain't got it. If this person stopped being my friend for $50, then you ain't my friend. I don't care if I got five. I don't care how much money in my account. I don't care if it's $5,000, $10,000, $20,000. I don't care if I got $50,000. You call me and ask me for 100 and I told you I ain't got it, and you want to stop being my friend because I told you I ain't got it, then you ain't my friend. Don't be my friend. All my friends around me, if that ever happened, they always going to like, hey, man, let me get Oh, man, I understand, Troy. And we go on and we keep talking. It's never a problem because these are real friends. And at the end of the day, when they really, really need it, you should help them. You are blessed to be in that financial situation, but you can't help everybody. You can't keep giving it. You can't, when you're starting out, you can't keep giving. I know some people, man, they, they always trying to help people. And then after a while, you get tired and you resent the, the person. You don't want to be that. And I don't want to be that. If the person want to stop talking to you, want to stop talking to you because of that, then so be it. That ain't no real friend anyway, because you can't get them $100. But just to come on you and tell you, if you and your family trying to build, don't carry everybody. Some people ain't going to make it. And that's that's what they decided to do. They they decided to have fun. And again, we all have 24 hours in a day. Decide what they want to do with the 24 hours, what you want to do with your 24 hours. You choose to watch the video. You can share it to them and they'll, they won't even watch it. Or you can listen to the video and try to tell them about it, about saving and this. They don't even want to do it. And then when you're doing it, now they want to come and ask you. They just Like I told you in other videos, people want the benefits of working hard, but don't want to work hard. Or they want you to work hard and reap the benefits that you have. And that's how a lot of people work. Oh, so-and-so, yeah, you have it. Either. That's why I don't like when I hear people say, man, Oprah have this, Tyler Perry have that, LeBron James have that. Um, who else? Any any person who have a lot of money, who have millions of dollars. I don't like when people, oh, they could do this. They should do this. They should do this for them. They should do this. Nah, all of us have 24 hours, just like them. They, even though they're millionaires, they got 24 hours. They still got to get up and do their thing. We still got to get up and do our thing. We can't be wanting people to save. You don't want that mentality. I don't have that mentality. I'm not watching millionaires' pockets. Why we want to put the burden on one person when all of us could do it? You take one check and build a school. You don't like what they're teaching in the school? You, you think they're teaching this, this and that? Build your own school. Other communities do it. They ain't worried about what we put in our public schools because they don't go to, their kids don't go to public schools. They take their own money and they build their own schools and they teach their own history, whatever they want to teach. Economics, their history, <clears throat> their language, <clears throat> their religion, whatever they want to teach, they teach it. But yet, we want somebody to do it other people want somebody to do it for them. No, man. All of us little people, you take $100 out and we, we could do it every year. We got $100 and do everything else. But when it comes to important stuff, we don't want to handle business. So that's how I think. And I don't let those people who don't think like that try to discourage me from thinking how I think. I don't want nobody to save me. I want to work hard and we can save ourselves. God gave all of us the ability, the mind. The health, we all got, we could all do it. We're choosing not to do it. So if you're the ones who choosing to be in financial freedom, you choosing that path, do it. Don't let the other ones discourage you and trying to always help them or make you feel bad because you're doing it. We all got 24 hours in a day. If you ain't think about it, now you know about it. You do better. You know better, now you should do better. All we got to do is change our mindset. So again, like I tell you on my friend, don't get in trouble trying to help other people or you trying to build and you just keep going. You're never going to build because you're always trying to give your bricks away. Hey, man, your other friend need five bricks. They need five bricks. They need five bricks. You're trying to build your house. Your mom need five bricks. Your brother need five bricks. Your, your father need five bricks. 
your mom, you, you don't mind, you giving it to your mom, but your mom giving it to other people. And then she come back and say, okay, I just get five more from Joy. Nah, it ain't going to work like that. I'm like, what happened to them five bricks I gave you? Or, you know, so-and-so needed a brick and a brick and a brick. That's why you got to be careful. Even with your mom. The, your mom got a big heart. Your father might have a big heart. But because you are the way you are, they'll take from you and give it to other people and come back and get it because they know you're going to feel sorry for them. And you're like, mom, why you gave it to so-and-so? I gave that to you. I used to hear stuff like, we'll put money in the older people's hands in, in our family. And then the, the other, the kids will come to them and get them. And I'm talking about grown, their kids are older than me. You putting money in the great grandma hand and th this grown man coming back to great grandma asking for money. And grandma will give it to him. I'm like, grandma, no, that, that's your money. Why are you giving them? No, he's a big grown man. But people will do that. Grandma, you know, she just, that's her kids and her heart is full to help them. But then you have people who take advantage of people like that. And while they're taking advantage of her, she not taking advantage of me, but I'm giving it to her for her. And then I will have to come back and give it to her again. And you got to stop that at one point. And say, hey, man, you going to give my money to them? I'm taking money out of my family mouth to give it to you. And then you giving it to another grown man who probably won't know what he's doing with the money. You know, majority of the time is foolishness. He ain't doing nothing important. But again, I stop that. And I'm telling you, you stop it too. Everybody who usually run in a business, they stop it because bills have to be paid at the end of the day. They don't work a regular job. So they understand that even if they have an extra $5,000 or $10,000, it ain't an extra $5,000, $10,000. Anytime emergency can happen, they got to pay for it. And then there's, sometimes they can't even go to the people that they always been looking out for. They can't even go to them and get that or get a loan for $5,000. Or even a hundred dollars from these same people they've been helping, that they've been giving free food and free service for years. So they understand that no, I ain't giving it to nobody. I gotta save. Maybe people call you stingy. People could call me stingy all I, all they want. I know what I do for people, and my immediate friends know what I do for people. I ain't gotta prove it to nobody. But sometimes you need that. When you hear that you being selfish, that means you're doing the right thing. You gotta take care of yourself. You can't be taking care of everybody else. And not taking, cause don't say people taking care of their family. And you don't want to be that person when you ask. They don't have it. But I never want to ask. I don't never want to even put them in that position. But again, just to come on here and say, don't carry people. Do what you have to do for you and your family. This is the average person mindset is to help everybody. We got to help ourselves and we got to help ourselves in the community. We have to help. We can't help everybody and don't do for ourselves because everybody ain't helping us. So we got to run that back and help us ourselves. And we got to cut back on giving away. Every time you give away, you're taking out of what you could be doing for yourself as in paying off your debt quicker, paying off your credit cards quicker, getting to your financial goal quicker. When you get there, then come back and help people, people that need help. Not people that just want your money just to want your money so they could go out and have fun and do what they want to do and go shop and spend money on this. People that need help, you help them. Like they need help to pay for a funeral or some emergency stuff. They need to fix their car. They've been trying to, um, you know, they've been trying to save themselves and then the engine broke down and they need. Then you help those people. But don't just be helping people that are just spending money. You, you like, hey, man, what, what happened to your tax return? You guys. I don't know, $5,000 just two months ago. What happened? I just seen you on your Facebook. You went to Disney World. You, you went to Vegas. You did this. You did that. This and that. This and that. Now you're calling me asking for $50. Nah, boy, I ain't got it. You stuck. But anyway, like I said, my people, all we got to do is change our mindset. If you agree, disagree, leave a comment, hit the like button, and um, we could do it. I know we could do it. I believe in you. You got to believe in yourself. Don't let me believe in you more than you believe in yourself. Later, my people.